What's up, YouTube? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel, man. We miss y'all. Violet and I are on a daddy's daughter cabin field trip, camping trip. If I said that right, right? I think so. Yes. Okay, so we are at. Explain to them what, what's the name of the place. We're at Rock, George, Georgia Rock Eagle. Georgia Rock Eagle Eagle Four Hour Center, Four H Center, right? Um, this is a huge campus, a huge, huge place. Uh, beautiful lakes, a lot of activities. Um, we are going to actually get settled. There we go. We're actually going to go find our cabins now to get settled in. Um, so we can actually like do some stuff and, and get out of here and, and do all that stuff. So I think we are cabin. Y'all won't see this video till then. So we're cabin number 27. Okay, hold on y'all. I just want to make sure I don't hit anyone's kids. But we are cabin number 27? Yes. Perfect. Cabin number 27. So that's what number we are. We're about to actually go check into our rooms. Let me make sure this camera don't slip. It has fell enough times. We're going to hang this up. Violet's gonna help us GPS to where we're going because I have no clue. Eagle Scout or something, this is what we would be doing. So, okay, we're at the International Paper Building. This is the dining facility. All right, so Rock Hall Dining is this big one, so we Cabin number 18, uh, 17, uh, we're going down, 16, Callaway building. Kind of pulls up. Uh, it's 27, 27, 27, 27. We're looking for number 27. Cabin 27. Uh-oh, hopefully. Sorry about that. I was looking for cabin 27. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, thank you. Sit back. All right, people. Thanks, thanks, Unc, for the help. That was completely confusing because Unc talking a lot slow, but he said, follow this road. Oh, man. I'm following the road. What numbers? You gotta look at those numbers down there. Can you see them? 
must be on the other side because that's the back something. That's a back, right? Yes. <clears throat> 27 is by C. Where is the auditorium? There's a church here. I am so lost. This don't make no sense. You gotta sit back, honey. I know we on the forest part, but you don't got on your sheet belt. You need to be wearing your sheet belt, okay? Yes. Didn't we just come back? Yes. So look for a building that says um, A, B, and C. We're looking for the dining hall. The dining hall's on the opposite end. This is the, what is the auditorium? Yes. So let's go down here real quick. So the auditorium is here. So what number is that one? Look um, at the numbers. I know, it's behind the auditorium, which is this. So we gotta find a way to go down. We're close, we're close. These are most of the people, so we're getting close. I told you you got to sit back. Oh, sorry. You got to sit back. It's hard for me to see the number and sit back at the same time. Yeah. Room. All right, 32, 31. Yep, 27 will be this way then. All right, y'all, we're finding it. We're finding it. We're getting a little bit closer. We're getting a little bit closer? We'll see. We'll see how good Violet eyes are. She She's not the best The best at right now. Okay, what 30. is it? 30, okay. 29. 29? 28. 28? The tan one must be 27. Okay. Then we're on a roll. We might be on a roll. Yeah, that's 27. Okay, perfect. I yep, I can see it on the door. <laughs> we found 27. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I hope I park straight enough. Let me see. Watch me be the guy that don't park straight enough. Oh, okay. I park good enough, y'all. I park good enough. All right. Are you excited? Yes. Oh, are you excited? Yes. This is going to be a lot, Carrie. We're not going to bring everything. I don't know. You should have kind of broke the edge of it. Um, all right, we're at 27. Oh, he hit his bumper. Let's get our stuff. And skedaddle into our car. Let's load it up. And then we might just walk to the dining facility. So, uh, we'll walk up. Oh. 
Crackers are burnt. That looks really nice. Flip it. Flip it over. <laughs> That's burnt. Okay, you can try it and eat this one. You want to try that? See how dri the tri chocolate's dripping? That looks pretty good. I just said I can't eat another one. You can't. So we just did this for no reason. So we give it to someone? No, So we're going to be wearing live jackets today. Right, so we have to wear those while we're out on the water. It just keeps us nice and safe. All right, can somebody read number two, please, right here? Always canoe with a partner. Always canoe with a partner. From my understanding, I think we're canoeing with our parents this morning. No. Yeah. Which yes. will be all oh, guys. Your parents are so much gonna stay seated. Now, if you guys want to switch where you're sitting in the canoe, you can do that, but you have to go back to shore before you do that. If you have a problem with your life jacket and you need to adjust it, we can also do that, but we have to go back to land to do that. So we're just always staying seated while we're on the water. All right, number four. Can somebody read number four for me? Right here. Treat the equipment with care. Put it on like a jacket, right? So arms go through the armholes, right? And then we have these buckles in the front for each life jacket. So we buckle the buckles up, right? All three of them. And then again, we tighten those straps down till it's nice and snug, right? I have some fancy straps 
on my side. So I'll tighten these down as well. Right, but the goal is to be kind of nice and snug in our life jackets today. So before we get you guys your paddles, we're gonna test all of your life jackets to make sure they're on properly and that they're working well, right? So the key to knowing if a life jacket fits or not is if you tug up on the shoulder straps, the life jackets do not go past your earlobes. Right, so if I pull up right here, my straps come up a little bit, but they're not going super far. My life jacket was on improperly, so it was super loose, right? It's probably gonna go up way past my ears. Does this look safe to you guys? No. It's not, right? So that means we just want our life jackets to be nice and snug, like a warm hug or like a big coat, right? So nice and snug on our bodies today. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. My adults will probably guys have- Yo guys, Violet learned how to paddle by herself. Look at this. Look at this girl paddling by herself. Paddling by herself. I'm working her. Look at her. Look at her. Paddling by herself. Cause, cause I'm not paddling, y'all. Everybody else is out here. Oh, look at my baby. Alright, y'all. Violet thinks she miss do it all out here. She thinks she must do it all out here, man. Look at her. Oh, no. Oh, no. Other side. Other side. Switch hands. There you go. Nope. Switch your hand. You don't pull it. You push. There you go. Oh, you don't push. You pull. There we go. Whoa. That was definitely like an acorn. Woo. All right, guys, um, I don't know where we left off in the vlog, but you guys seen some amazing, amazing videos. And we're gonna end it with some beautiful drone shots. Violet had a new deer, a new, what is it? Deer. Okay, it is a deer. I'm so tired, them kids kept us up, man. They had a blast. We had an amazing stay in um, these cabins right here. Big shout out to these cabins. Like, it was amazing. Um, Violet had fun with all her friends. Are you gonna name him yet? It, I already named it, and it's a girl. What's her name? Vivi. All right, well, welcome to the channel, Vivi. Make sure you guys say hey to Vivi. Uh, Vivi cost me enough. Uh, $18 or something. Yes, and you have $20 at home, so guess what I'm, you're giving me tomorrow, today when we get home. I want those $20. Vivi was 18. I got you water and snacks and, oh, yeah, new boots. I got your shirt. Yep. Wait, you have, if you have snacks, do you have snacks in the cooler? No. <sighs> You're not eating any snacks anyways. I meant water. You want water? I said one. Nope, not at all. No snacks for you. Uh.